YouTube, in today's video, I'll be telling you everything you need to know to increase your vertical jump. I'm finna lay out the whole blueprint for y'all, so let's get into it. So right now, I'm just showing y'all some clips validating that I can dunk. I can jump a little high. I'm 5'8", by the way, y'all. I promise y'all. I'm just gonna run through a couple clips and be just dunking. You know, that's what the video's about. So yeah, I'm gonna let y'all watch those. So first, y'all, we got to go into the nerd part of the video, just showing y'all what makes you jump higher. So power is going to be force times velocity. I mean, power equals force times velocity, y'all. That's the first thing you need to know. Second, secondly, if that's even a word, secondly, we need to learn about the SSC or the stretch sorting cycle. Lastly, y'all, we need to learn about rail force development. Now, let's get into the actual exercises and things, the fun part of it. Let's get into it, y'all. So, first, y'all, to increase your vertical, to jump, jump higher, wherever you want to do with it, you need to increase your strength. So, first exercise, staple movement. All these are staple movement. I'm giving you exactly what you need. First exercise you're going to need to increase your strength is going to be squatting. With these, I like to do anywhere between two to four sets of about three to five reps y'all that's what i would aim for for the second strength exercise which is a hinge movement it's gonna be the posterior chain your your own um, glutes and your hamstrings and all that i love a goddamn conventional deadlift so with these same thing two to four sets three to five reps y'all Okay, y'all, the second phase of jumping higher will be Olympic weightlifting. And the number one exercise is going to be the spam hand cleans. And with these, well, I'm going to show y'all some workout then, but your spam hand cleans. This is the only clip I have me doing them with me failing 275, but let's go on to the next exercise, y'all. Okay, y'all, the next phase will be ballistic movements. Ballistic movements is just really just jumping with a weight, if that makes sense. So that could be hex bar, trap bar, dead loves, things of that nature, um, barbell, um, not barbell, yeah, bar, not barbell, yeah, I'm tripping, dumbbell, jump squats, things of those natures. So that's things we'll be getting to, or you should get into. Damn, I can't tell. Now the last phase, not to be forgotten, really one of the most important phases, they're all equally important, it's going to be your plyo mixtures. I know it seems so simple because your body weight, but these, these really help. And my favorite one is, is going to be a um, drop slash depth jump. So, yeah, y'all, that is the video. Before we end the video, I want to give y'all a simple um, workout to follow, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, let me show y'all that real quick because I love you guys. So, this is a sample workout. So, normally, I would do two um, sessions. Not two sessions. I will do the um, workouts twice a week. So, day one and day two. So, one day could be like you see day one, barbell back squats to focus more on the quads that day. The anterior part of the um, body, lower body. And then you'll do some hang cleans, three by three. Death jumps and max effort jumps and max effort jumps y'all i forgot to explain that that's gonna be just jumping as high as you can that could be going to touch net grab rim dunking touching the ceiling wherever you can do just try your hardest to jump as high as you can and day two will be pretty much the same thing but you'll be doing deadlifts to work the posterior chain of the um, lower body hang cleans again death jumps and max effort jumps again. But that's in the video, guys. I love you guys. You guys like, subscribe, and comment. Peace.